Imagine a life where you never feel fear. No heart-pounding panic, no irrational phobias, no crippling anxiety. Just a constant state of calm curiosity. Sounds like a superpower, right? Well, for one woman, this isn't a superpower. It's her everyday reality. This is the incredible true story of the woman who doesn't know fear. She's known in scientific literature only as patient SM. She suffers from an incredibly rare genetic condition called urbach vitha disease. This condition has one very specific and very strange side effect. It targets and destroys a tiny almond-shaped part of the brain called the amygdala. For SM, her amygdalas on both sides of her brain have completely calcified, essentially turning to stone. So, what does the amygdala do? Think of it as your brain's alarm system. It's the central hub for processing threats and triggering the feeling we call fear. Without a functioning amygdala, SM's alarm system is permanently offline. She simply cannot register fear from the outside world. This sounds fascinating in theory, but what does it look like in real life? Neuroscientists were determined to find out. They decided to put her to the ultimate test, exposing her to a whole list of things that would make most of us scream. They took her to one of the world's scariest haunted houses, filled with monsters and jump scares. Her reaction? She laughed and even poked one of the monsters out of curiosity, scaring him instead. They showed her a collection of venomous snakes and giant hairy tarantulas. She asked if she could hold one, fascinated by their patterns. They made her watch the most terrifying horror movies they could find. She just found them amusing. It became clear that SM simply lacks the neural hardware for fear. She has walked through a park at night where a man held a knife to her throat, and she just calmly walked away, not feeling a shred of panic until much later, when she could intellectually process the danger. But scientists are persistent. They wondered if there was any way to make her feel fear. They found one very specific loophole. They couldn't scare her from the outside, so they tried to trigger fear from the inside. They had her inhale air with a high concentration of carbon dioxide, which creates a sensation of suffocating. This internal signal bypasses the amygdala and goes straight to an older, more primal part of the brain, the brainstem. For the first time, SM experienced a raw, terrifying panic. She gasped for air, her eyes widened, and she felt an overwhelming sense of dread. This single experiment revealed something profound. Fear isn't just about spiders and haunted houses. It's a fundamental biological response, deeply wired into our very being to keep us alive.